But uh, I certainly support um, uh, this sort of venue where we get to play for all ages because young kids, if they don't get exposed to live music, they just don't really know it exists outside of the huge megalithic um, uh, corporate level, which uh, doesn't serve me the same way. You know, I, I appreciate your comment, and, and uh, you, know, you know, but I just, I just think that um, uh, like home cooking, it's better in small batches. And, it's, and, and the, the attention paid to it matters a whole lot. Thank you very much, George. What would I do with that? <laughs> and I also really want to thank this amazing band. That's Naj Conklin on the bass. <laughs> Mark Hayes on the drums. Mr. George Rary on guitar. <laughs> this is a song uh, that I wrote with my friend Brian Keene. I wrote this song about, well, I was writing songs with my friend Brian in Nashville. We were writing songs in the Nashville style where you don't have to have anything to say to write a song. You just sit down <laughs> with a pad of paper and a friend and you stare at it until your forehead bleeds and, you know, eventually <laughs> keep trying it, dig out that rhyming dictionary and, uh, you know, just, just keep trying until you write something. And we felt good because we'd written like six, seven songs in, in 48 hours and, you know, gone through <laughs> a pound and a half of coffee beans and, uh, and we're, you know, feeling like titans of industry and, and uh, we were working on his car so I could get a ride back to the airport to go home. <laughs> and uh, we got a call and that call was bad news. It was Bad news about my friend Stephen Bruton. Stephen Bruton was a guitar player from uh, Fort Worth, the Fort Worth Panther, they would call him. If uh, you listen to uh, Chris Christopherson records or Bonnie Raitt records, you'll hear his playing, which is amazingly, is amazingly tasteful and appropriate and beautiful. And, and uh, he's kind of a hard ass to work with, you know, because he really demanded that you come up to his level. He wasn't going to stoop to yours, which was great. And that's what we want out of everybody because, uh, you know, you know, dumbing it down doesn't serve anyone. It's all right to fail as long as you're aiming high. And so uh, I have a record back there on the, uh, on the uh, merch table called The Freedom to Fail, which is... Uh, which <laughs> Very much, yeah. With every one of those you buy, my daughter gets another bite of food, so yeah. uh, <laughs> I do appreciate that. Rings, all those 
so-called funny things They don't matter when they are not there So I gave my girl a watch that shine with diamonds She left it in the drawer when she walked right out my door. Turns out all she needed was my time. I only want the things that matter. I only want the things that she can share. Don't give me time to break all those so called. You know, I'm not a rich man's son, but you should run and play, gather roses while you may. Can't buy your time back when it's done. I only want the things that matter. I only want the things that you can't share. called finer things they don't matter when they are not there 